pues estoy un poquito nervioso porque ya se acaba de estrenar el último episodio de How I Met Your Father, esta primera temporada. Y quiero grabar una video reacción porque estoy casi seguro, digo, están dentro de las teorías que hemos hecho cada semana en el podcast y estoy casi seguro de que va a haber un cameo sorpresa. Entonces quiero compartirles mi reacción y bueno, vamos a empezar. Uy, estoy muy emocionado. So in addition, my client is offering the townhouse on the oceanfront estate in Farhampton and this bottle of 1831 single malt no Glenn man, McKenna geez. valued at three million dollars. Boats. Boats. We don't say boats. Boats. Oh. God. I love you, Sophie. La Mosbio. I decided to split the difference and go to the bar downstairs <gasps> to clear my head. No. <laughs> sí. This is what this place looks like. Sí. Weird, we never come in here. <laughs> it's that is not an order that makes sense. I know. Good to you. Yeah, I, I don't actually know how to order whiskey. Feeling a little extra. Good extra or bad extra? No manches. Lo sabía. Lo sabía. Oh my god. Lo sabía. Robin Shabatsky? Oh. I know you from the news. Oh. Hear that, Carl? She's a fan. I have fans. Focus on my fan. Gracias. Sí. I mean, seriously, my friend Valentina and I are obsessed with you. Or buy a bull. I love that so much. You're kind of a mean fan, huh? <laughs> no, 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 seriously? Back in the day, my friends and I wasted years in this very bar talking about our stupid love lives. I stop in here whenever I'm in the neighborhood. Hmm. So, please, tell me your stupid love no, story. Man, Bring me back to the good old days. Y mira, ahorita okay. acaba de mirar a la siguiente. Uh, okay, just so I'm clear, you were really excited to try being with this guy, Jesse. I once had a guy say I love you on our first date. See? Wow. <laughs> you win. Dude sounds like a real piece of work. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> But a good piece of work. Sophie, I have been married. I've been single. I have been hmm. everything in between. And the only decisions I regret making are the ones I made out of fear. Oh, es que recrearon todo el bar. No, man. Cheers, brother. Nah. Oh. I've learned anything at all about love. It's that timing is everything. Ooh. Dijo la frase. Timing is a bitch. bitch. Ah. You're gonna be okay. I promise. I do. But I'll meet future you back here in 20 years for a drink, just to make sure. Pues amigos, se los dijimos, se los dijimos semana tras semana en el podcast, esto iba a pasar, era inevitable. Y estoy muy, muy, muy contento, de verdad. Todas las referencias que hicieron a la serie, un poquito a Barney, con lo de que estuvo casada y divorciada. A Ted, con lo de la piña, con lo del timing eh, is everything, the timing is a bitch. Han hecho referencia ya a todo. Incluso a Marshall y Lily, ¿no? En el primer episodio que dicen, no, una pareja de viejos nos, nos regaló el departamento. Wow. No, no, no tengo palabras. Pero... Nos vemos en el podcast esta semana para hablar de esto. ¡Oh!